Hey guys, Michael is still waiting here with his bolt cap on. We showed you that the last time. How to put it on, how to glue it, how to cut away. And he's still waiting here. For two weeks. Waiting for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> waiting here for to color it in. <laughs> yeah, the wig has to go on. <laughs> And I'll show you what colors I use. So, first of all, you have to make a pux, it's called. And pux you have in different colors, of course. It's made of prosate and with different colors of acryl. You have them in different colors, skin color, yellows, red. Try to mix a nice color for your actor. In his skin, there's so many red, so your first layer will always be a red color. And for the next color over it, I have a skin color, which is maybe a little bit too dark for his skin color. You call me white. <laughs> We're gonna Ew. see that. We'll see how that goes. I've showed you all the colors. What you need to put it on the bald cap is this natural sponge. That works really uneven. I'll show you how that works. Dip it in and just dip it unregular over the bald cap. Try not to go over the edges too much because the material is different than your makeup material here on the forehead. Sponging away, sponging away. Try to do this as unregular as you can. So a little bit of bald cap still showing. For now, there's nobody living here in the back. So I concentrate myself here for you guys. After I put on the red color, I'm gonna blow dry it dry. Once you dried it, powder it really good as a first layer. So, powder it really well. So the next color will stick to it much more easier. Try to use a translucent powder so your color of your ball cap will not change it. Take a big brush and take away the powder who is left on the bald cap. Then with the color, which I'm going to use as a skin color, a new sponge, and we're going to do the same. Same principle, not too much over the edges. And try not to cover it all because you want to have that unregular color. As you can see, you can see the red through it and you can see this base color here. Same principle, blow dry it and powder it. And the same thing, put a lot of powder on your new layer of pux. These are the first two layers I've done. I'm gonna use a tattoo makeup for the edges here. So you will have skin and bald cap with color. That will go easier color wise. What I'm using is this product, Chaffeu Moisturize. It's a heavy tattoo makeup, but for the edges you will see that works really well. If I've done that, I'm gonna show you the third layer of coloring it in. You can do this with all your alcohol palette, or you can do with airbrush alcohol colors. It actually is with bold caps. The more colors you use, 
which are next to the skin, the better it works. So Michael, is your father bald? I'm not answering that. <laughs> So, my next step is to color it in with a palette or with an airbrush. Both are alcohol-based products, so try to use uh, a little bit of blue, a little bit of beige again. Don't put too much makeup on the forehead. After I've done that, I'll show you the result with the wick on. So, uh, Michael, are you ready for your wick? No. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> All right. So. Even worse. I never want to be your model. <laughs> and this is the result of Michael's do-over. New hair, new chances. New depression. New depression. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. And uh, you can always react on this tutorial. If there's any problems you have, I'll see you next time. And you can follow me on my bio in the link.